4.1 number 35, we are going to find the critical numbers for the function y minus 1 over y squared minus y plus 1. Once again, critical numbers are the places where the derivative of the function is equal to 0 or the derivative does not exist. So, of course, we need to get our lovely derivative. Let's get to work. g prime of y, since this is a rational function, we have to use the quotient rule. So, before we forget, let us square the denominator first. y squared minus y plus 1, put up into a parenthesis, square that. And then for the numerator, you take the denominator first. So y squared minus y plus 1, and you multiply by the derivative of the top. The derivative of y minus 1 is just 1. And you subtract the top function, which is y minus 1, times the derivative of the bottom function. And the derivative of y squared minus y plus 1 is going to be 2y minus 1. Right? Derivative y squared is 2y derivative of minus y is one, uh, minus 1, and derivative 1 is 0, and put them into a parenthesis just like this. And now, we have to do some clean up. And usually, we don't need to expand the denominator, so I'll just keep it as how it is for now. And for the numerator, this part times 1 is just the same as this part, y squared minus y plus 1. And for this part, we have to do something. Uh, first, we have to fill this off, right? So what we have is minus, big parentheses, and let's multiply this out. y times 2y give us the 2y squared, y times negative 1, that's minus y. Negative 1 times 2y is minus 2y, negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. And now I'm going to put down the result right here. I will have to distribute the negative inside. I have negative 2y squared, so minus 2y squared right here. And inside here, this is negative y minus 2y, which is negative 3y. Minus negative 3y becomes plus 3y. And then I have the negative 1, like that. All right? And overall, on the top, it's going to be y squared minus 2y squared, which is negative y squared. Negative y plus 3y is plus 2y. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. And that would be divided by this as the denominator, y squared minus y plus 1 squared. So this is going to be g prime of y, our derivative. And now our job is to set this equal to 0, because once again, we are going to find the critical numbers. And the only way for the, for the fraction to be 0 is that for the numerator to be 0. So we must solve. I'll just say, put it right here, which is must solve the numerator, which is negative y squared plus 2y equals to 0. The denominator doesn't matter. And in fact, the, the denominator um, will never be 0. You can check. So there's no worry, all right? But like, we just need to set the numerator uh, equal to, to 0. And solve this very easy. Factor out the negative y, this is going to be y minus 2 is equal to 0, and you get negative y is equal to 0, or y minus 2 is equal to 0. So the first part you get y, this is my y, y is equal to 0, and this part you get y is equal to 2. And here are the critical numbers.